Hello? What's up, ladies and ghetto men? I've been getting a lot of comments on chopping samples, different ways to chop samples. It is my duty to share different ways to chop samples, because you guys asked for them. Well, that's the video, bro. Let's go chop some samples. So what we're gonna be working with today is just splice loops and a drum loop I made for my last drum kit I dropped, which is free if you guys want it. It'll be in the description. But we're gonna be working with those two things, just splice loops and one of my drum loops, just to give you guys an idea of different ways you can slice samples, chop samples in FL Studio. You guys want it? Here you go. First, let's listen to the drum loop. Simple. Here is our sample. First, what we wanna do, since it isn't on time, I think this is at like 115 BPM, we're gonna bring it down to 85, or we could always drag it out or shorten it. See, that's like too dragged out. It's actually sick as fuck though. But see what it sounds like like this. Oh my God, dude, that's so good. What I like to do first before I do anything is right click on your sample, right click the pitch, reset it. So it's at its normal pitch now. Sounds better, less chick monkey I guess okay so first way to chop is just clicking you don't have to do anything right click on your sample in your arrangement slash playlist window go to chop down here and there's a bunch of different things you can go time base repeating patterns blah blah let's just pick a random one let's go complex and shuffle beat and it chops it for us let's see what it sounds like and you can obviously go and move these around and rearrange them however you'd like like you can put this here put this here uh switch these around You know what I mean? So we can uh, just pick different ones. Marching, patterns, let's go to breakdown, see what that sounds like. It's honestly not bad and it, it'll work with a lot of samples, but it's kind of limiting because you can't slice it yourself. Another way to slice samples is just really getting in here and pick where you want to slice. Like say, I really like that note, that boom. Like that, like that. Oh, that's nice. Like this, dun, dun, dun. and it's it's just rearranging them. I like to rearrange it with the beat playing. Well, that well the like the drums. So let's put this first. Let's put that first. Going into this, and then. See, that's already completely different than what it is normally supposed to be. And it sounds good. And obviously you can go back to your actual sample you're using, pitch it down if you want. Or do whatever you want. Yeah, that's an easy way to sample for you guys. Here we go under my baby, Slice X. You guys know Slice X is where it's at. For me, it's always been Slice X ever since I used FL Studio. Let's use a different sample because I don't want it to be boring you guys listening to the same sample over and over again. Bow. Beautiful. How I chop samples in Slice X, it's 
a lot of just listening to what parts of the sample stand out to me and that and I'll chop it. So, and a lot of times you can just chop a sample into like one eighths, like boom, 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 boom on time and then just rearrange it, which I do a lot of the time. So it already has a, uh, a marker for me. If I didn't want to start here, I can start here. So my first chop would be here. And this shows you where your sample will be mapped onto your keyboard. So this would be like, I think C5. You want to replay it multiple times to hear exactly where that, like the downbeat is. There it is. And if you really want, you can get in there. Like if you hear a pop or a crack, because that just means you didn't chop correctly. Oh, okay. That's all I chops. As you guys know, if you guys have watched this channel before, I'd play them on the keyboard and like try to freestyle a new melody in my head to go over the drums. So let's mute this. This part of the chopping will come to you a lot better within with practice. You just gotta practice a lot because it's, it's a lot of knowing what you wanna hear and turning your random chops into something you I don't know, I'm not making sense, but let's lay these chops down. Let's see what we got. A lot of times too, I play with the pitch on the sample. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably pitch it down a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. Pitching it down a little more. Yeah, boom. This is so tight, okay. Oh, I love that. This, see this, you see what I'm doing right now? If music makes you do that, bro, that's the best feeling in the world. I guess let's lay that down. We are the champions, ladies and gentlemen. Flip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and hey, if your samples are a little off grid, it is fine. Don't even trip about it. I like sloppy boom bap. I like like my boom bap raggedy. You heard? See how this sample starts after the kick? I like that. That laziness. All right, now let's revisit and see what the original sounded like. We turn it into this. Uh, moral of the story, guys, there's no right or wrong way to chop samples. These are some of the ways I do it. Try them all out. You, whatever sticks with you, whatever's easiest, whatever you get the best results with, stick with it. And you'll be a pro in no time. I'm not a pro. I just like making this shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a quick video for you guys on different ways to chop samples in FL Studio. There's a lot more. If you guys want the other ones, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave one of these. Five times two, go comment. Three, subscribe times four, do them all. And uh, have a great day. Go drink some water, go outside. Have a good day. Peace.